हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आंसर यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल टेलीस्कोप यूजिंग दिस द वेरी टेलीस्कोप यू कैन सी इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी एंड इट इज़ अलेस्ट्रॉन माइक टेलीस्कोप विच इज़ द मॉडल नंबर हैविंग पावर सीकर फिफ्टी एज एड ओके हियर आई हैव द मैनुअल फॉर दिस टेलीस्कोप एंड दिस इज अ मेड इन चाइना प्रोडक्ट एंड दिस टेलीस्कोप इज नॉट एज सच इफ यू ब्रिंग इट टू योर होम इट इज part by part instrument so you have to assemble every part using this manual okay so let me show you some um, disassembling part like uh, here if you move this screw you can separate this okay so if i separate this this further contains two different part one is uh, you can see here it is written barlow lens it is three times so using this lens you can zoom any object which you are seeing through telescope three times okay three times its particular size and this you are seeing in my uh, and it is prism okay so basically it uh, provides you a comfort to your body instead of seeing like this you can see like this okay so let me uh, combine it again so open this screw and uh, tighten it and then on the top of this prism you can fix three time polar lens so after this three times polar lens if you further want to zoom it they have provided some other zooming instrument also like this this is a 12.5 mm for uh, mm uh, zooming instrument so if you fix it on it and tighten it and then see through it then you, then your final image will get further zoom out okay similarly instead of this if you use a uh, focal length of 2 mm then your image will further get enhanced so depending upon whether you are seeing a nearby objects or any far uh, astronomical object you have to zoom it okay so like this you can use this different focal length zooming instrument and there is one thing more all you have to keep in mind that if you see through this prism if you see through this prism like this the image that you will get will be upside down like if something is like this originally then you will see it like this okay so to make it erect i mean it will look like real and inverted so to make it virtual and erect you have to use this particular erecting eyepiece okay and this erecting eyepiece will further enhance the image of the zoom as 1.5 times so all you have to do open the screw of uh, prism and then put it in the prism and then see through it okay after seeing through it you will see the image as it is in the space okay so this is the basic uh, sub parts of the telescope okay and let me explain what are the objective eyepiece and uh, optical tube length and finder scope in this uh celestron telescope okay so here you can see this part is known as objective so you have to keep this part towards the uh object like if you are seeing towards the moon you have to keep this part towards the moon and this part is known as objective it will have wider diameter okay and this part here you can see where you have to put your eye is known as eye piece okay so distance between this objective and eye piece is known as the optical tube length and here you can see on the top of it this part is known as finder scope so basically if you are uh, trying to look at the moon first you have to look moon through it and there are cross hairs present in it like vertical and horizontal cross hair you have to fix moon image on this vertical and horizontal cross hair then you have to uh, try and look through this then you will able to find if you try to look directly through this then you might not get the exact and distinct image of the object what uh, whichever or whatever you are trying to see okay so this telescope is basically a primary type of telescope and uh, it is good for watching uh, moon and uh, solar system planets okay so let me show you some uh, various telescope that are made by various uh, astronomical agency around the world and the 
image obtained by them of the different celestial object and astronomical objects. So, here I have some printout and uh, I can show you this image that you are seeing right now here is, is Hubble Space Telescope. Okay. So, in the Hubble Space Telescope, this part here it is the, <coughs> this part here it is you can see uh, it is objective and this part here is eyepiece and you can see there is a plane mirror although this space telescope is much and more complicated this uh, this primary telescope and uh, why it is launched is in space because due to atmospheric refraction we we cannot see all the object from the space very clearly okay so nasa has launched this sp space uh, hubble space telescope in the into the space some of the very famous images obtained by this telescope i can show you so like uh, this you can see here this is the image of the planet mercury so mercury is the nearest planet to our sun and uh, this you can see here uh, it is basically a rocky planet because it has no atmosphere it has no almost crust also because it is so near to the sun it crust has almost was, uh, got washed away from its surface and uh, its surface temperature during the day and night very very different during the day it is it can reach up to 400 600 degrees celsius and during the night it can reach up to minus 200 300 degrees celsius okay and this mercury uh, planet is the not the hottest planet in our uh, solar system the next image obtained by hubble space telescope is this uh, venus and this image you can see it is basically a white ball shape why it is white ball shape because uh, it atmosphere is basically full of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases okay so here temperature rose so much that it's it uh, since it is not uh, nearest to the sun but even if after that its surface temperature is higher than that of mercury because of the so much emission of greenhouse gases this image is taken by the messenger spacecraft that was sent by the nasa and finally the our own planet this is the uh, earth okay the only habitable planet till we know of now and this in this uh, photo you can see africa antarctica and arabian peninsula this image was taken by apollo 17 uh, on the day of uh, december 7 1972 and this photo was taken from moon which was at a distance of 29400 kilometer at that time okay and the next image is of the our own moon that is uh, earth's moon and here you can see the dark patches are basically the craters and uh, white patches are basically the surfaces and since there are various meteorological events uh, uh, various strikes of meteors happens on the moon in the past so that's why it appears like this next we see our nearest uh, planetary neighbor that is mars okay so mars is basically a red giant and we are possibly uh, searching for the habitable conditions on this planet due to because lot of water has been found on this planet okay? next after mars you can see uh, the biggest planet in our solar system that is jupiter jupiter this photo is taken by New Horizon Space Telescope on the day of January 24, 2007 and this image is taken at a distance of 57 million kilometers okay that means 5 crore 70 lakhs kilometers because this planet is so huge if you go at that much distance then only you can take the full image okay and uh, here you can see the shadow it is uh, shadow of one of the Im image uh, shadow of one of the uh, moon of the Jupiter okay and here you can see at the uh, left uh, bottom side at the the famous red spot of uh, Jupiter okay next the very decorative planet of our solar system is Saturn okay this uh, Saturn image is taken by the Cassini spacecraft which is now uh, got into the very own atmosphere of Saturn and this photo was taken on the date of August 11 2009 so these are the various images taken by the some of the biggest telescope launched by our uh, 
astronomical agencies okay here you can see the details of hubble space telescope here you can see aperture door here you can see secondary mirror so as i told you earlier that this telescope is much more complicated than this telescope which you are seeing right now and this is simply we can say it is like a telescope which is discovered by galileo in 1600 okay and one more famous telescope out of our solar system uh, one more photo uh, out of our solar system taken by uh, hubble space telescope is this so this is basically one is uh, image is taken in uh, visible light and one image is taken in uh, infrared light you can see clearly the difference between those two images because here lot of star clusters are visible in here lot of star clusters are not visible due to as these are the species in this uh, in our universe where stars are born okay here you can again see how the hubble space telescope forms the lights as i told you this part is objective here light rays are coming then they are going to secondary mirror then they are going to primary mirror and then they are going to our uh, the computer system install in this uh, telescope to get the final image okay and the most recent telescope launched by nasa is this one the james webb space telescope it is much uh, its uh, efficiency is much much higher than that any of the telescope present right now in the space okay even higher than the hubble space telescope so much more images will come in the future by this telescope this telescope was launched in the year 2021 by the nasa okay so this telescope is basically a collaboration between various countries like europe canada america okay so i've told you about the various type of telescope which was built by our uh, astronomical agencies so using this telescope uh, you can start your journey towards the universe okay this telescope is basically useful for those who are uh, passionate about the uh, watching universe in the beginning okay so this is a beginner telescope not the professional telescope okay so because this telescope has everything in manual control so you have to be very patient and you have to be very calm to use this telescope okay so that's all for today using this telescope thank you for watching this video and have a nice day